Although cryptocurrency is often considered to be beyond the reach of any government, China's recent efforts to ban Bitcoin shows the potential weaknesses of cryptocurrency systems as well as some other interesting phenomena. Up until now, almost 75% of the world's Bitcoin supply have been produced in China. But on September 24, 2021, the People's Bank of China and nine other government agencies issued a joint notice, quote, All virtual currency-related business activities are illegal and should be strictly prohibited and cracked down upon in accordance with the law. However, this didn't come as a surprise. Exchange of Bitcoin has been illegal in China for years, and the country doesn't have a positive outlook towards cryptocurrency in general. Cryptos in regulated markets is by nature opposed by the Chinese government's doctrine of a state-controlled economy. Moreover, China's recent goals to reduce energy consumption in order to fight climate change and become carbon neutral by 2060 are at odds with Bitcoin miners' huge needs for electricity that is used to power computers that generate new Bitcoin. China is in the process of launching its own state-backed digital currency, digital Chinese Yuan. China planned to make it available to foreigners during the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, and any competition from other cryptocurrencies is regarded as unfavorable. How it all began Cryptocurrency trade has officially been banned in China since 2019, and even in the years before that many restrictive measures had been adopted, but the trade always continued through foreign exchanges. There is a running joke in the community that China has already banned cryptocurrency nearly 20 times. But this last announcement from September 24 seems like a clear indication of a serious shutdown, since it states that all involved will be prosecuted. China's officials announced their crackdown on Bitcoin mining and trading back in May 2021. This time China looks serious. This continues a campaign started earlier this year, where authorities shut down digital mining farms, censored cryptocurrency-related web content, and created promo materials emphasizing crypto mining's bad climate impact. Cryptocurrency mining in China flourished during the last decade because of low prices of electricity and computer equipment, some of the same elements that helped China to become the world's manufacturing hub. Chinese miners developed their businesses to even follow seasonal changes in electricity availability. When river flows were on their peaks, they would set up operations in mountainous regions with many hydropower plants. And during arid months they would move to coal-rich provinces. Their crypto mining facilities sometimes involved tens of thousands of computers working together in a single place, and China's Bitcoin industry is almost among the country's 10 biggest power users, alongside cement and steel production. But with the government's longtime suspicion, together with new climate plans and official digital currency, will seemingly put an end to Chinese crypto mining, golden age. How that affects the rest of the world? On the other side of the globe, U.S. miners are taking over the lead in production. Some experts think Beijing's move will improve the currency's long-term position by reducing markets' uncertainty due to previous production depending mainly on China. In fact, China's crypto shutdown, along with El Salvador Bitcoin adoption, might even make Bitcoin more valuable on the markets. U.S. share of world's Bitcoin production went up from about one-fifth to more than one-third. Many miners also fled from China to nearby Kazakhstan, which is now the second-largest Bitcoin producer. Other popular countries are Russia, Iran and Malaysia. U.S. lawmakers are keeping an eye on the trends too, since concerns have been raised over climate pollution from digital mining. But crypto companies think that the U.S. legal system is set up in a way that new laws are implemented slower, giving them time to adapt to potential changes. Texas and Florida are competing to lure miners to their states. Texas is especially attractive because of its cheap energy. Texas Governor Greg Abbott expressed his friendly approach in June, when he tweeted that, quote, Texas will be the crypto leader. 
what about official digital currencies? Digital Chinese Yuan will offer basic convenience of cryptocurrency, such as money exchange without an intermediary, but without any privacy or decentralization benefits. In fact, China is not the only country trying to make an official digital currency. Sweden, South Korea, Nigeria and 12 other countries are in the test stage of launching so-called central bank digital currencies or CBDCs, that represent a response to privately issued and hard to control digital money like Bitcoin. On the other hand, El Salvador adopted Bitcoin as a legal tender, and maybe set an example for some other countries to follow. So, how will all of this unfold in future? Chinese crypto miners will go underground or abroad. With time, the authorities might become more tolerant, but the Chinese crypto market will hardly reach its previous scale. The rest of the world, especially the US, will take over the majority of mining operations. Chinese official digital currency will surely become alive, followed by other countries' own currencies in an attempt to re-establish full control. Some other countries, probably only smaller ones, might go the other way and try to use existing cryptocurrencies. What do you think is the future of digital currencies? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more facts.